It's all part of us. We can all choose love. It'll lift you up if you let it in. Let the healing begin. Yes, my name is Molly Oto, and I have taught children from toddlers all the way up through about nine years old at a Montessori school. And before that, I was a social worker and a children's counselor at the Santa Clara County Children's Shelter with abused and neglected children. In the toddler classroom, where I am right now, uh, the teachers will always stop and get down to a toddler's level. So we find ourselves kneeling down on the floor and meeting the children eye to eye. We extend a hand and, and welcome them with a handshake. And if they show us that they would rather have a hug, um, we do that. But we wait for um, a nonverbal sign from them. Um, to let to let them sort of gauge how close they want to be with us and we bring them in to their environment and they own it they begin to move around the classroom and they work independently and um, we step in when we see the opportunity to give them a lesson or um, interact with them sing with them uh, sit on the floor and, and do work with them on the rug Toddlers are very, uh, they're in a stage of parallel play. And so they're a little ego egocentric. They're mm -hmm. very involved in what they're thinking about. And so when they choose something, um, they are given a rug, a work rug to use. And if another child comes along and wants to use what they're using or interact with them, we teach them to say things like, may I work with you? Or if they want to come in and touch them or hug them, we ask them to stop and say, may I touch you or may I hug you? And if a child says yes, or their nonverbal cue says, yes, that's okay, we will say to the other child, she said yes. Go ahead and give her that hug, or, or, or you, may, you may sit next to her and touch her. Um, and if the child says no, then we will state to the other child, she said no thank you right now, and we will go back to the other child and say, you may say no thank you, and give them the language and the words. Mm -hmm. um, toddlers tend to be very affectionate with us in the classroom. Once they trust their environment, they like to hold hands and, and hug and climb up on our laps and things, but we do, because we're Montessorians and we were taught to respect the children, um, our job is to let them sort of lead that and guide that and, and we watch and we observe and we record how they're working and, and how they're interacting. And Toddlers can be, they, they act on exactly what they're thinking right when they want it and so we do teach them to wait. Um, sometimes we will give them a gentle hand signal of please stop and we, we, tell, we teach them to say the word please stop. And when a child comes in and wants something that another child has and they're so excited about it and they take it and the other child gets angry and puts a hand up, what we can say is we, we do give them words, you know, this is my work. Please don't touch, things like that. But if there is a child that is um, using their hands too aggressively for another child, we will go over. A lot of times what we will do is, is very gently touch their shoulders and sort of move down like this and, and, and say, um, I can see that you're, you're sad or I can see you, you look a little bit upset. Um, and we will say, um, we only touch a friend gently, and then we show them. Mm -hmm. It's not just, we're not always giving them directives, we are modeling everything to them. Mm -hmm. And so if they take a hand to hit, it's, oh, stop please, you may touch her gently like this. Can you show me a gentle touch? Can you go back and see if she's okay? We do encourage a lot of empathy at the toddler phase. I think that they become a little bit more patient when you say something like, she's using that work. It will be your turn in just a minute. Would you like to wait with me? Or shall we go get another work? And we can offer them to, uh, to take them by the hand and go over to something else. Mm -hmm. Or we'll sit down on the floor and say, would you like to sit with me and wait? And we can sing a song. Yeah. or you know redirect them that way but it, it is quite a bit about touch. and if you have a child that you can tell is not very comfortable mm -hmm. that's perfectly okay mm -hmm. and and I think that that when you stop and you give them a little bit of time and you don't infringe yourself on them right away yes. they, they tend to respond by coming to you when they're ready and then when they fall down and they get hurt the first thing they do is they look up and you know they, they want to be held and, mm -hmm. and comforted I had worked mainly with younger children, and when I worked at Montessori for four years with toddlers, I then moved into lower elementary, which is with six to nine-year-olds. And I distinctly remember um, one of the middle school teachers who was my mentor at the time 
I said to her, um, I'm really looking forward to working in, in lower elementary, but I'm really going to miss the toddlers because when you put them down for a nap, they cuddle on your lap and they always want to hold your hand and, and I'm going to miss that. And she stopped me and she said, don't ever stop holding them on your lap or holding their hand, even when they're six to nine. They still want that. They still need that. And that, that resonated through all of the eight years that I was in lower elementary. I think Jen was very smart to have told me that. And, and I, I was able to connect with my students um, in a learning way. In, in, when they were academically frustrated and they just needed, they would lean over and just lean their shoulder up against mine. And I, I would pick up on those kinds of cues because I do think that when we have that trusting feeling and, and there is somebody warm next to you and reaching out to you. Or, so I, I do think that, that being in a situation where touch is healthy and, and appropriate, um, children do learn better and feel more relaxed and, and prosper.